क्वेश्चन में बेसिकली ये कहा गया है कि देर इज़ ए स्मॉल होल एट द बॉटम ऑफ ए रेक्टेंगुलर बोट देर इज़ अ रेक्टेंगुलर बोट एंड देर इज़ ए स्मॉल होल एट द बॉटम फ्लोर ऑफ द बोट दिस अलाउज द वाटर टू एंटर इन टू द बोट एज द बोट सिंक्स इन टू वाटर प्लॉट ए रफ ग्राफ शोइंग हाउ द रेट ऑफ वाटर फ्लो थ्रू द होल वेरीज विथ टाइम एज्यूम दैट द बोट रिमेन्स हॉरिजोंटल एज इट सिंक्स एज द वॉटर विल गो इन साइड द बोट इट विल सिंक सो यू हैव टू प्लॉट ए ग्राफ शोइंग द रेट ऑफ वॉटर फ्लो इन टू द बोट थ्रू दिस होल वर्सेज टाइम हाउ इज द रेट ऑफ वॉटर फ्लो वॉल्यूम फ्लो रेट ऑफ वॉटर चेंजिंग विथ टाइम यू हैव टू प्लॉट इट विथ टाइम सो यू कैन पॉज द वीडियो एंड ट्राई द क्वेश्चन योर सेल्फ ओके आई एल कीप सॉल्विंग द क्वेश्चन नो डाउट जस्ट थिंक दैट दिस इज आवर एम टी बोट इट डज नॉट हैव एनी होल फॉर अ मोमेंट लेट एस थिंक दैट there is no hole on the bottom of the boat this is the boat and it is made of some wood it can even be made of some metal no doubt about it are you sure if it is a metal boat will it not sink no it will not think over it why anyway so this is our boat and let us say it has got some weight if it is empty there is no water inside it there is nobody sitting inside it then it will have to displace some water so that buoyancy force balances the weight of the boat weight of the boat here means weight of this material isn't it if it is wood weight of wood if it is steel weight of this much of steel let us say it is balanced by it is balanced by displacing this much amount of water what am i trying to tell you if the boat has been placed in this pond this boat has displaced exactly this much amount of water this much amount of water and this much amount of water if you weight if you find the weight of this much volume of water this volume of water will have same weight as that of the boat that's why it is in equilibrium the buoyancy force is equal to weight of displaced liquid so weight of displaced liquid if i take this much volume of water in a separate bag and weight then weight of that water will be same as weight of the boat that's why it is in equilibrium now the question says that there is some hole uh, that has been punched at the bottom of the boat and therefore water starts uh, going into the boat so after some time what do we see what what do we see there will be some water here it is no water right this is blue one is not water uh, i have just shown it that this is the volume of water that the boat has displaced here it is all air nothing is there okay now when some water enters into it the boat sinks a little bit uh, let me exaggerate it okay it's fine uh let us say this is our boat and there is some water inside it there is some water inside it i'll show the water in white color let us say let us say this much amount of water has already entered into this boat now uh, for equilibrium it is necessary for equilibrium it is necessary that the buoyancy force is equal to weight of this empty boat plus weight of the water inside the boat let us say weight of the boat is w so the water that was displaced earlier this blue one it also has weight w right now there is some water inside the boat white one so weight of this white water this also needs to be balanced by buoyancy then only this thing will remain in equilibrium right so let us say weight of this much amount of water is w dash now to balance this weight of water how much water needs to be displaced same this much volume water this is additional weight inside the boat now weight of the water white water 
so how much water needs to be displaced to balance that weight additional weight answer is the same volume of water needs to be displaced okay so the boat so the boat which was earlier drowned which was inside water to this depth only now it will ins be inside water to some more depth right now you can easily understand that this volume will be same as this volume can you understand this because this volume of water has a weight that is equal to weight of this boat the steel used in the boat and this amount of water will be balanced when boat displaces same volume of water so okay this is the same volume of water that the boat is displacing additional volume that the boat is displacing so this volume of water displaced is equal to weight of boat and this volume of water displaced is equal to weight of this water which is inside the boat therefore this total volume of displaced water is equal to weight of the boat plus weight of water inside it boat ke andar jo pani hai uska weight aur boat ka weight dono ko jod karke jo aaya uske weight ke barabar liquid ko displace karna hoga so yes this liquid has got same weight isn't it so what do we see actually we see that this uh, the level of water inside the boat and level of water outside in the pond this difference will remain constant because if this is h here it is h here also the difference in water level inside the boat and outside outside the boat it will remain constant so after some time when even more of the boat sinks into water there is a hole of course in that case also the level of water outside level of water outside i am assuming that the pond is too large so uh, when the boat goes inside uh, there is not much of difference in water level in the pond uh, so this pond water level i am showing in all my diagrams that it remains same outside the boat the water level remains same outside the boat in all my diagrams so if more water is inside the boat then also this height will not change because to balance this much weight of water this much volume of water has to be displaced which is there which we are seeing and this additional volume has been displaced to balance the weight of the boat so whatever amount of water enters into boat the level difference between the water outside the boat and water inside the boat will remain constant now the question has asked you about the rate of water flow inside the boat so the rate at which water is entering into the boat it will depend it will depend on if you have studied bernoulli's equation you know it will depend on the pressure difference between this point and this point students uh it is the pressure difference which will decide the rate of flow of water into the boat i mean when the boat is completely empty there is a hole uh, here the pressure is atmospheric pressure can you see that it's all air inside the boat and here the pressure is atmospheric pressure let me call it as p not plus rho gh so at this point the pressure is p not plus rho gh and at this point just inside the boat the pressure is atmospheric pressure so the difference in pressure between this point and this point is rho gh and this difference in pressure pushes the water into the boat now what happens after some time when there is some amount of water inside the boat what is pressure difference between this point and this point has it changed the answer is no it is still same rho gh can you see that can you see that abhi bhi video pause kar lo soch lo zara bhai can you see that what is pressure here at this point the pressure is let me call it p1 it is atmospheric pressure yahan ye sab kuch kuch nahi hawa hai this is atmospheric pressure p not so sorry this is atmospheric pressure p not plus p not plus rho g this height of water let me call it as y so rho g y 
वट इज दिस नंबर दिस नंबर इज एक्चुअली प्रेशर एट दिस पॉइंट ये जो ब्लू कलर से मैंने दिखाया है ये जस्ट दिखाया है कि दिस इज दॉल्यूम विच मस्ट बी डिस्प्लेस टू बैलेंस दी वेट ऑफ दोर्ड दिस ब्लू कलर जोन इज नथिंग इट इज वैक्यूम एयर बेसिकली सो अप टू दिस पॉइंट द प्रेशर इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर एंड एट दिस पॉइंट द प्रेशर विल बी एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर प्लस रो जी वाई ओके ना वट इज प्रेशर ओवर हियर वट इज दिस प्रेशर पी टू लेट मी कॉल दिस प्रेशर एज पी टू वट इज दिस प्रेशर इट इज एटमोस्फेरिक प्रेशर पी नॉट प्लस दिस रो G H plus Y. This whole depth is H plus Y. So, what is pressure difference between this point and this point? What is P two minus P one? What is P two minus P one? Can you see that it is rho G H? So, initially it is rho G H. Right now it is rho G H. After some time it is again rho G H. So, the pressure difference between this point and this point being same, the water will enter into the boat at a constant rate. there is no change in rate of water flow into the boat so the graph that is being asked on y axis we are taking rate of water flow rate of water flow into the boat with time it is not going to vary it will be a flat straight line i hope you have understood this agar dikkat hui hai to video dobara dekh lena bhai theek hai par bahut acche se samajh zarur lena मैं आशा करता हूं कि आप सभी लोगों ने इस क्वेश्चन के आंसर को जरूर समझ लिया होगा स्वस्थ रहें मस्त रहें हंसते रहें खेलते रहें और फिजिक्स के क्वेश्चन एक एक करके सॉल्व करते रहें